How many times have you guys, you know, in a, in a situation of need, a moment of need, you go, you know what I need? I need da 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 right? And you blow it off. And then three years later, there's a guy, you know, on an infomercial describing exactly your idea. And he's showing you how great your product works. You have to be unafraid to listen and unafraid to think that something that you have is a good idea. Now, you also can't believe in it so much that you, that you have deaf ears toward it, like reason and reality. Because you can have the most brilliant idea in the world, but you gotta bet on yourself. You can't think that like, that one idea and the way that you think it's supposed to happen is the only way that it can happen. You know, don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and rearrange them the way you want. Create your own constellation. I say that all the time. You just have to be smart enough to know that like, you know, there's so many ways that like things can turn out, you know, and there's so many people in their lives that man, man if I would have just made that left turn or you know, if I would have just stayed in the house five more minutes or whatever, like woulda, coulda, shoulda. If we would bet on ourselves, but at the same time take in consideration what this moment will mean to us 10 years from now, it could be different. But listen, I haven't made all the best decisions in the world either. I definitely fell on my ass a, a million times, but I learned on, on my way down and I definitely take it in stride getting back up. If I knew then what I know now, it, it, it probably could be so much better. I'm a perfectionist. There's always room for improvement. I'm never really going to be happy with whatever it is, no matter how great it does, no matter how much success it accumulates and no matter how big the accolades read. Like, I just noticed that, like, um, these things kept coming my way and I would, like, pay attention to it and say, okay, I would weigh it out in my mind, like, okay, what is the benefit from this? I would always ask myself that and then I, you know, I say these things to my mom and she just would not be surprised. But I, I was always surprised, like, what do you mean? Like, this is huge. But so you just, you, you know, you have to be sort of open and I'm not sure that you know, it's cool to be like super open-minded, you know, and then when you are or when you see people that are, everyone like rolls around like, you know, coining them geniuses and really all it is is just like being open to other things in the world and I guess that's it. I mean, because I didn't, I didn't plan these things. I mean, now, you know, in the last few years, when I started to catch on and started to make sense, I'm like, oh, okay, this is how it goes. You sort of set out these goals and then you have long-term goals and then you have short-term goals and somewhere within you know you find your hobbies and then you find the things that you are interested in don't look over your shoulder every five minutes if anything just continue to stand on your tippy toes to see how far you can see uh, and what, 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 what's in the horizon I really like talking to kids now because I realize man you could be that kid that has this awesome glow about you, but unless, you know, someone's around to recognize that glow, these kids don't have a chance. And so for me, I'd like to say that, you know, my humble beginnings in music was that of fortune, but I've been smart enough to pay attention from that moment on. You have to know that like, look, this one thing will get me in the door. It will allow people to see my perspective. And from then on, they'll say, hey, if I want a slice of this reality, I've got to go back to this guy. And the truth that you may not want to hear or I might not want to say is that there are six-year-olds probably doing the same thing that are just as good. And you just have to expect that someone's you know, right behind you, waiting for you to stumble and fall. So be on it.